Welcome to 20 minutes of mobility with me. We're going to start on our back. So I'll give you a moment to get down on your mat. Feet flat on your mat. Let's bring the right hand to the lower abdomen and your left hand to your heart. Feel free to close your eyes here. We're just going to take a few moments to tune into our breath. As you inhale, I want you to feel your left hand rising, then your right hand as your abdomen and your chest expand. As you exhale, left hand falls, right hand falls. Try to clear your mind of whatever you have to do for the rest of the day today or if you're doing this session in the evening, whatever happened in your day. The next cycle of breath you take, try and lengthen out that exhale. So for example, you could breathe in for a count of three, pause at the top, breathe out for a count of five. After a few cycles, see if you can lengthen it out, slowing down both cycles by another two counts. Inhale for a breath of five, pause, exhale for a count of seven. Feel your heart rate slowing down. Feel your body expanding against the mat. Spine lengthening, shoulders dropping away from your ears. Muscles in your neck, jaw and forehead relaxing. After your next exhale, I want you to grab both knees and hug them into your chest. Maybe you want to rock side to side for a little lower back massage and then extend the left leg. Let's start to make some circles with that right knee. Keep going in one direction. And after the next circle, I want you to switch directions. As always, move within a range that's accessible to you and does not give you any pain. We're going to keep hugging that right knee in, pause on those hip circles, and we're going to go 10 ankle circles in each direction. Make those circles as big as you can, really point the toes. 10 in each. When you're done with your ankle circles, see if you can take your hands off your knee and make those hip circles without the assistance of your arms. This is gonna require a little bit more strength and stability in the hip. And you're gonna find it easier if you flex your left foot. Keep that left leg strong, pressing the left heel into the mat. Try three to five in each direction and then clasp your hands behind the right hamstring. I don't want you to pull on your leg here. We're just gonna extend and bend through, through the right leg. If you can, flex your foot. And now I want you to hold that leg, extend it as far as you can. Maybe it's not perfectly straight. Point and flex your foot. You can always use a band here, but I really wanted to try and avoid using any equipment for this session. 
Let's bring your right foot back down. You can always keep your right knee bent, okay? And hug the left knee in. Let's start to make those hip circles. Let's go five in each direction, three to five in each direction. And if your right leg is extended, keep that right foot flexed, heel pressing into the mat. Make sure you make those hip circles in both directions, three to five. And then we're gonna pause 10 ankle circles in each direction. Making those circles as big as you can, pointing your toes. Ten in each direction. All right, and we're going to go into those unassisted hip circles, just with the left leg, drawing as big a circle as you can with your left knee. We're going to go three to five in each direction. Okay, you might want to move a little slower than me, and that's okay. Remember to keep that right leg strong, right foot flexed, heel pressing into the mat. Okay, three to five unassisted hip circles in each direction. And then we're going to clasp the hands behind the left leg. Remember, extend your arms. Don't be pulling here. We're just going to bend and extend a nice gentle opening through the back of the left leg. And again, if you can, flex your foot. If it's too tough, maybe you keep your toes pointed for now. Okay, after 10, we're going to hold that position or as straight as you can, point and flex through the left foot. This is a great one if you're a runner. Okay, we're opening up the back of the, of the leg, of the ankle, and the front. Let's bring both knees up and make some assisted hip circles with both knees. This one always kind of reminds me of an egg beater. Okay, let's go three. And then switch directions. If you're going out and in, switch to in and out, however you want to look at it. <laughs> and then we're going to hug that left knee in again. This time we're going to draw it across your body. So you're going to end up laying on your right side. Hike that left knee up and maybe make a pillow with your right arm. We're going to reach over the body and across Okay, your gaze can follow your hand if that's comfortable. I want you to inhale as you reach forward. Exhale as you reach over to the left. We're thinking about rotating here through the mid spine. So kind of right underneath your shoulder blades is really what we're aiming for. Make this one your last one. We'll make a full circle, reach forwards, and then pause with your elbow at 90 degrees. And it's open to the left. We're gonna reach up overhead and pull that elbow back down. You're gonna get your shoulder blade moving here, lifting and lowering. Thinking about pulling that uh, left elbow down towards your hip. And if you can, try and keep your left palm open to the sky or the ceiling. And let's just take a moment here to kind of hold this twist. Just sink into our little spinal twist here. If you want a little extra hip opening, you can see if you can grab um, your right foot. It's quite a challenging move, so don't worry if that's inaccessible to you right now. Okay, I'm gonna get you to roll back onto your back. We're just gonna take a moment here to reset in the middle. Maybe let your knees fall side to side. Always feels good. Between deep twists on both sides, I always like to take a little moment to reset. And we're gonna turn over onto the left. So same position as if you're sleeping on your left side. You can make that support with your left arm and we're gonna reach forwards and across the body into that open book stretch i usually call these open book reaches because really it's not you know a static stretch we're keeping it moving we're keeping it dynamic moving with our breath 
Inhale, exhale to reach across the body. Let's reach overhead and pull, circle back around, pull that elbow down towards your hip. Okay, if you can, palm facing the sky or the ceiling. Inhale to reach, exhale to pull your elbow down. Let's get that shoulder blade moving as much as you can. Keep reaching and pulling. Circle the arm back around. If you'd like to hold that twist for another couple seconds here, go for it. And then we're going to reset again between sides. So flip onto your back. If you just want to pause here and rest, you can, or you can let your knees fall side to side. From this position, we're going to go right into some hip lifts. So again, we're going to keep it moving. I want you to press into all four corners of both feet. Lift the hips and lower. We're going to go for 10. Exhale as you lift. Inhale to come down. You bring your fingertips to your ribs. Make sure they're drawing down towards the spine so we're not flaring out here as we lift. The next time you lift, I want you to pause. And see if you can extend one leg at a time, nice and slow. See if you can keep your hips level and also your knees in line with one another. So just shifting our weight from side to side, but keeping our hips stable. You can even bring your fingertips to your hips to make sure that they're not shifting side to side. Okay, like a rocking boat, you don't want that. We want a nice, st stable, stable position in the hips. Okay. As you extend the right leg, I want you to now drop your hips, tap your toes, extend, drop your hips, tap your toes, extend, drop your hips. We're going to try five on each side. So it's kind of like a little single leg hip lift with a leg extension. So you're going to drop the hips, lift, drop the toes, lower. I may have gone a little fast there, so if you do need to slow it down, rewind, watch that through again. You can, you can always pause the video as well. It's the beauty of videos. We are gonna go into some single leg hip lifts now, so I want you to stack your right knee on top of your hips. Again, keeping those hips level, let's push into the left foot, lift and lower, just using the strength of the left leg. As you can see in the video, my knee is stacked on top of my hips. It's not moving. It's just lifting and lowering with my hips. Thinking about driving that knee up to the sky or the ceiling. Okay, and I want you to try five to 10 single leg hip lifts on each leg. All right, lots of little coordination and strength challenges here. Again, we're gonna lift, hold our hips Extend the right leg. Now I want you to point as you lift your leg, flex as you drop your leg back down, knees level. And I want you to try five on each leg. Okay, if you get really good at this, you can move that up to eight, 10 reps. But let's just start with five. So you're holding that hip lift, okay, extending one leg, just lifting pointed toes, lowering the leg, flexed foot. We're gonna move into a little bit of lateral hip strength and stability. So when you are done, the last leg lift, uh, hip lift exercise there, I want you to turn onto your right side. You can always hold onto your head. Okay, And we're gonna start with some clamshells. So pretty self-explanatory, really popular. Um, Pilates fitness move here, even in the rehabilitation world. We're gonna stack our knees, stack our heels. Okay, and you can see my top hand is on that, the top of my left uh, hip here. I want to feel like my glutes are doing the work here and I'm not just rotating my hips back as I lift my top knee. I want you to start with 10 on each leg. The next time you do this video, maybe move up to 15 and then 20. 
You can see at the beginning when I'm setting up, I'm drawing into the lower belly. Okay, so lower abs are on working and then I'm bringing my top hand to my hip again, making sure my glutes are doing the work to lift and lower. I could definitely be doing a better job at this. That's why video is so powerful when you are, um, when you are doing your workouts. You can see, or at least a trained eye can maybe see areas that you could improve on. So what I could do better is push into the, into the mat with my bottom knee. So think about creating a little bit of resistance there, pushing the bottom knee into the mat. And then we're gonna flip back onto the first side there on your elbow. As you can see in the video, I'm not sinking into my shoulder. I'm pushing the mat away with my elbow actively. And then I'm gonna push into the bottom knee to lift. We're gonna hold this side plank star. Okay, I like to keep my hand either on my hip or my lower abs. Again, making sure my lower abs are working to keep my hips stacked and stable. Flex both feet and I'm going to give you a little challenge see if you can tuck those toes under and the bottom foot this is really going to light up your glutes push them out away with that bottom knee and then lower let's switch over to the other side swing your legs around set up on that left elbow this time don't sink in to your shoulder though okay push them out away lower belly Working hard here. Lift. Okay, both knees are flexed. Both feet are flexed. See if you can tuck the toes under in the bottom foot. And we're going to try and create a nice straight line from the head to the tailbone. Okay, just breathe here. Again, actively pushing the mat away with your left elbow and your left knee. Breathing, holding, you should feel everything from kind of like the belly button down, doing a lot of work here. I lower with control. Whew. Let's come on back down to the mat. Do a little windshield wiper here, letting our knees fall side to side. Your feet should be about the width of your mat here. And you don't have to count just just cycle your knees from side to side. Keep windshield wipering your knees from side to side. And then I want you to set up in a cross-legged position. If you do need to sit on something here, you can always sit on a rolled up towel, um, yoga block or cushion. I want you to bring the left hand down, reach over your body. You can look out under your arm, bring the right hand down, looking under your arm again, if that's comfortable for your neck. In this cross-legged position, creep your hands forward. Try to keep a nice tall spine here. So nice flat back, we're gonna fold over our legs. If you're tight through your hips, low back, you might feel a nice little stretch there. And then we're gonna switch sides. So whatever foot you had in front or on top, I want you to switch. Again, sit on a prop if you need to. Bring your left hand down, reach over with your right. Bring your right hand down, reach over with the left. And then sit up nice and tall. Walk your hands forwards. Keeping that kind of tennis ball space, size space underneath your chin. And then bring the feet out in front. We're gonna set up our fingers to face away from our body, away from our heels for a little reverse tabletop. 
Okay, you may not lift as high as me, but each time we're gonna switch the orientation of our hands. So fingers out this time, lift and lower. Finally, fingers pointing in towards your heels, lift and lower. Try two. We're gonna go back out to the sides, fingers out towards the edges of your mat for two. Fingers facing away from your body for two. So a great little shoulder opener, hip opener after those forward folds. You may find that there's one direction that you prefer to face your fingers. And that's A-OK. -okay. okay, we're going to try a single-sided reverse tabletop with a reach. So let's bring the left hand down, extend the left leg. Drop the hips, bring your elbow towards your right hip, reach over Again, looking out underneath your arm, if that's comfortable for you. On each side. Let's try three to five on each side. We're towards the end of our session here. Just have fun with it. Open up those lateral lines. Open up through the ribs. Again, play around with three to five. That is it for today. Thank you all so 